it's been a great success. We're delighted to see so many people joining our movie theater every night. Si, si en general los países nos conociéramos más unos a otros, seguramente el mundo sería mucho más fácil y habría menos problemas. We had specialists from Europe coming and giving these workshops to uh, Jordanians, uh, and basically we also tried to have them. Uh, outside of Amman, so not only here in, in Amman, but also in Salt and in Zarqa, so that you know a large number of people could participate. We organized two competitions, uh, one about short films and the other one it was a mobile film competition, so basically anyone in Jordan with a, um, a smartphone could uh, participate. This year's short film competition winner is Mr. Omar Lekhresat for his film Habil Ghasir Kursa. It's amazing that a festival like this uh, has been going on for such a long time. I think it's the oldest EU film festival in the world, or one of the oldest, of course. As for the Goethe Institute, obviously, it's uh, a privilege, but also uh, a given that we would be part of it. I think it's a fantastic uh, way of showing European unity, uh, also the depth and wealth of European culture, and a, a great way of engaging uh, Jordanian community uh, with those very varied uh, cultural and diverse cultural experiences from Europe. It's a very nice initiative. I think it's a job هذه بانوراما من الألوان الأوروبية يأتي بصبغة لبلدان مختلفة أولا ثانيا يأتي بشيء مختلف لتيار الرئيس من هوليوود Obviously in the European Union we believe a lot in culture Culture is something that reaches out to people It brings us together, it opens space for dialogue and uh, we believe that this is a way to open a window for Jordan to the European Union to see how we live, how we think, and open uh, the dialogue uh, between uh, all the cultures of the European Union and Jordan together.